Hello friends, this video on tissues part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will start with animal tissues. So we will now talk about animal tissues. Now as I mentioned in the introduction of this lesson that multicellularity introduced the division of labor. Multicellularity that is the organisms which are made up of multiple cells that is millions and millions of cells are present inside the body of the organism. So now the question was how do these cells perform the specific functions. So the cells grouped together and they decided that they will perform a specific function. So this was known as division of labor. What was what is division of labor? It means that the entire work is divided into groups of individual. So every group is assigned a specific task. So this is known as division of labor, right? And this division of labor forms the basis or forms the basic concept of tissues, right? Now, if you think of it, the development, I mean, when a baby is born, uh, when a human baby is born, the development of the fertilized egg to the newborn needs several rounds of cell division. Like, let us suppose if this is the fertilized egg, say this is the fertilized egg and this is the baby which is born. Now, in order to reach from this stage to this stage, the cell division takes place many number of times. In fact, if you go uh, as per data, there are almost 41 rounds of cell division that actually take place for the development of a fertilized egg into a newborn baby. Now, cells which are produced, now when cell division will take place so many times, with each cell division, new cells will be formed. Again, with more divisions, more cells will be formed. Now, what happens to these cells? So the cells which are produced, they take different pathways of differentiation. Now, some cells come together and they decide to become blood cells. Some cells come together, they group and decide to form muscle cells. Some cells together form the nerve cells. So this is how the cells which are being formed due to so many rounds of cell division, they specialize each of them, right? So let us suppose so many rounds of cell division happened. So they some cells forms the muscle cells, some cells form nerve cells, some cells form blood cells, some cells will form brain cells. So similarly, every cell will find out their own function. This is how the entire body of the baby is formed. And finally, the baby is formed. So with due course of time, the baby will get all the nutrients and finally it will develop the different organ systems because the cells have clustered together to form a specific tissue. The tissues will cluster together to form an organ and the organs will again cluster together to form the organ system and finally the baby is born. So we see that cells group up and specialize to perform a specific function and the needs of the body to survive is that thus met. So this is how the organism is formed from the fertilized uh, egg you get a newborn baby that baby again starts growing up it gets all nutrients it eats properly so growth and development happens in the baby and as a result the baby again with due course of time becomes an adult man. So if you see in that entire process what is happening? Due to cell division and cell enlargements, growth is taking place, right? Now, as cells divide, new cells form and those new cells again specialize themselves to perform a specific function, right? So here, now we will be talking about the tissues which are present inside the body of animals. So here again, we will quickly look at the level of organization. So first level is cells. Then the cells group together to perform a specific function forming tissues. Now these tissues will then form the organs. For example, here the lung tissues form the lungs. And the lungs will then form the respiratory system. Not only lungs. Along with lungs, you have many other um, organs. For example, the pharynx is there. The epiglottis is there. So, and the kidneys are there. So, everything together form the form this entire system 
right? And these many such systems together, say digestive system, circulatory system, respiratory system, they together form the human being, that is the organism. Correct? Okay. So with this, let us try to understand what we are going to study now with the help of an example from human body. Let us take the example of the breathing process, which we are all aware of because it happens as a part of our existence, right? We all know how we breathe. Now, what happens? Have you ever observed that when you actually breathe, what happens? The chest muscles move. It is the speciality of the cells that they can cause the movement. Like you can feel it yourself. You try to breathe. So when you breathe, you actually feel that the chest, that your chest portion is actually showing some movement. So how is it able to move? Is there some magic which makes it move or which makes it vibrate? There are some muscles present around the chest and those muscles move. So it is the speciality of the cells which make those muscles that they can cause movement. Right? Now, when you breathe in, oxygen is taken in. Right? Now what happens? Now, this oxygen which is taken in is absorbed by the lungs. Now, the lungs are what? They are organs and they are also made up of tissues. Now, the lungs will absorb the oxygen and it will transport it to the all parts of the body. Now, how will it transport it to all parts of the body? Because every part of the body, every cell inside our body needs oxygen to survive, right? So, let us suppose you breathed in. So you got oxygen. So the oxygen entered inside your body. But how will that oxygen stay inside your body? Lung will absorb it. Right? Then it will be transported to the different parts of the body by blood. So what is blood? Blood again is a kind of tissue. So blood is also a kind of tissue. Now because of this blood now the oxygen reaches each and every cell inside the body. Now what happens inside each cell? Inside the cell you have mitochondria. We have talked about mitochondria in our previous lesson, right? So mitochondria generates energy in the form of ATP molecules using the oxygen. Correct? So this is how the energy generation will take place in the body. So did you notice the role of tissues here? Let us look at this example. Now here you can see this person breathes in. What happens when he breathes in? When he, as he is breathing in, the lungs inside the body is expanding. Now, what is causing this expansion and contraction? This is because of the muscles which are present here. Right? So, the muscles which are present on the inside the chest, these muscles are capable, are made up of tissues and those tissues are capable of causing movement. Right? So that is one kind of tissue which we name as muscular tissue. Right? So here you can see a role of muscular tissue. Now let us suppose you have breathed in, you have taken oxygen. The oxygen is absorbed by the lungs. Now what is lungs again? Lungs are again made up of tissue. Right? So there are kind of tissues which help in absorption. Now what kind of tissues are they? In fact, those tissues are again a kind of epithelial tissue. So here again you have one kind of tissue that is epithelial tissue. Now you don't worry about the names. We will talk about the types of tissues in our next slide. Here I am just trying to tell you why are we actually studying about animal tissues? What all important role the tissues play? Right? So now let us suppose the lungs have absorbed it absorb the oxygen. Now it has to reach the different parts of body. So here you can see that the blood is actually transporting the oxygen to different parts of the body. So what is this blood? Blood is nothing but it is a connective tissue because it is connecting the different parts of the body together. So here again comes the role of a tissue. Now once the oxygen reaches inside the cell, that means each and every cell has received oxygen. Now inside the cell, there is something called mitochondria. So this mitochondria will generate energy in the form of ATP molecules, right? So how will mitochondria generate energy? Mitochondria 
generates energy in this fashion it has glucose so when the glucose will react with the oxygen it will form carbon dioxide plus water plus 38 ATP molecules and what is ATP? ATP is adenosine triphosphate. So this adenosine triphosphate is nothing but energy. So this is how energy will be produced by each cell. Now each cell will produce this much of energy. So you can imagine that inside the body there are so many cells and they all will produce some amount of energy which when taken together will become a good amount of energy. Right. So this 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 was just an instance. This was just an example which I gave you just to tell you that tissues which are present inside our body, the play of it, they play a very significant role. Because if something happens to even one of them, the entire functioning of the body will get affected because they are all closely related to each other. In fact, they are interrelated. Right. So with this example, we got some idea on the significance of animal tissues. So now as we go ahead, we are going to discuss about the different types of animal tissues. We are going to discuss in detail about each type of animal tissues. Where do we find those tissues? What are the purpose of those tissues? Now, in most of the cases, I will be taking the example of the human body because I feel human body is something which you will be able to understand in the best way right but as such these concepts of animal tissues hold true not only for the human beings but for any other animal so what are the types of animal tissues now broadly there are four types of animal tissues that is epithelial tissue connective tissue nervous tissue and muscular tissue so these are broadly the four types of animal tissues which we will be talking about in this lesson so we will start with epithelial tissue and then go one by one with each of them so i hope you are clear with the introduction of animal tissues that why are we going to study about animal tissues what are the significance of tissues inside an animal body okay thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.